Hey everyone, this is Marcy from Dragonfly Avenue. Um, in this video, I'm going to be walking you through how to update your footer and header with PageFly and Shopify. So right now, uh, all we really have is the homepage for PageFly. We're using our Claire template. Um, and as you can see, let me refresh. Um, the header and the footer don't really work. <clears throat> so in order to update this, we'll be going into the Shopify side. So we're on the back end. And obviously you can use any theme that you want. Um, if you have one already set, um, I would suggest probably just updating the colors. Um, but if you haven't set it up yet, you can go to themes and then customize. I will be using the Dawn theme and I'm just going to hit customize. So here for header, um, I am going to, I'm just going to grab the color. I don't know the, uh, okay, I'm just grabbing the hex code. Um, so I can do a back Brown scheme, let's see, and then we'll go to theme settings, colors, and then let's do accent number two, this color, and then background two, we'll do that as well. So you can see how that now kind of matches what we're trying to um, create. And obviously if you have like a different style for it, you know, you can do what you love the most. You can adjust the logo. And um, like menu. Um, I don't really want this line, so I'm going to remove it. And then you can adjust the padding or spacing. And then here you can go, wait, is it here? Oh, theme settings. You can go to logo and select an image. And I should upload it a logo for it. And you can adjust the logo size. Ooh, a little too big. And then when you're ready, you can add a favicon and you are pretty much set with the header. You can see if you like that. I think that looks nice. Let's see. Do I want to change anything else? Um, maybe middle center. That looks nice. Um, if I, I think I might just go with that, but I'm going to update. Um, to a different logo. Okay, that like to me that looks nice. I think it fits with the rest of the the template. So it would really the color and adjustments and obviously whatever um, you like. And then you have this announcement bar. Um, now, if you don't want it, you can just hide it. Or if you want it, you can keep it. Um, you can add some CSS. And then you can adjust the background. And then let me just, I really should have pulled these hex codes, but um, we can go to a theme and then I think of accent one. Yep. And then, so now you can see that. And I think that looks kind of cool. Um, again, if you don't want it, if you don't have any announcements, you can just hide it and then you can save. And then you have just updated your header, your navigation. And then you can scroll down here to your footer. Uh, now footer, you can do something similar. So I'm going to do background two. Um, I don't really have another section that I want to add, but um, I don't want an email because I have it over here. Um, and 
And then I'm going to remove the margin because I don't really want this space. Um, but if you do want the email, you know, add that in. If you want to delete this section, um, you can do that. And then here, if I want to add maybe some more information, I can add quick links. Um, maybe a nice little bio here. Um, maybe some more links. Really whatever kind of information you think you need. Let's do three sets of links. Cause I think it would be nice um, when you change these to be like a social links, um, explore and shop, um, or it can even be like, ex like shop um, or like policies and support. You can add that here. Um, and yeah, I mean, I kind of like that. I think that looks nice. Um, we don't really need a very robust footer here. Um, but if you would like, what you can also do, make it a little bit cooler. We can do background worn gradient. And I am going to pull colors from here. And then I'm going to do color stop one. And then color stop two. And I like that. So we're going to save that. And then from here, let's do it. Can we have accent? Nope. Accent one. Maybe. Background, mm, background one. Okay, cool. And so now we have like a nice gradient here. I don't think that's actually the colors that I chose, but let's go back. Okay. Um, yeah, so now we've like added a nice footer. You can update the links in your navigation and then you're all set. So um, the footer and the header you do within the Shopify theme itself. The page designs and everything else you'll do within Pagefly. Uh, so that's the main kind of difference um, and that's where you kind of have to go. Not necessarily back and forth but certain things you have to change on the theme and others you change within Pagefly. Uh, so hope that helps. Thanks so much.